Watch out, world. Check out these young heroes next door. They're giving journalists a run for our money. They recently started a kid-friendly news outlet. And while some say, hey, there's just too much news right now, Melissa Correa explains why their project is exactly what kids might need during this pandemic. Tonight on this historic election day. Breaking news graphics, attention grabbing headlines, and a pace kids can follow. The boy behind the bitmoji, Kafit Kadakia. Originally, we were called 77407 News because that's the zip code we live in. A Richmond seventh grader who's dreaming big. He and friend Ariane Sitapali launched the national outreach online in June. Where we have over 2,000 views from over 13 countries. And the reason we started because a lot of the times when kids watch the news, they may feel stressed, overwhelmed, and confused about it. Drop down and you'll see the 12 year olds cover a wide range of topics. Our daily updates are like little short paragraphs for each section. And it's telling them small facts that they can remember. The boys watch news in the morning, pull from reputable sources, and then share it in a kid friendly way in an article, on YouTube, or through a text on WhatsApp. Gives you a sense of what's happening, so you're not surprised. Easing people into what's happening in the world is why they began TNO this summer, so that they could feel productive and informed rather than stressed or scared. The friends remind us kids pick up on more than we might think. Explain to your children about how this coronavirus is going on. Make sure that they understand it, and if they still need help, they can come to us and read our articles where they can understand it even more. The National News Outreach, founded by Fort Bend County boys who are committed. Now let's get to the news. To helping everyone better understand what's happening around them. Hopefully one day we become big like um, KHOU someday. Watch out, Houston. For now, I'm Melissa Correa, KHOU 11 News. I, I think they're ready to do the 6 o'clock. What do you think? Now, you might think both of these guys want to be journalists one day. Uh-uh. They have their sights set on engineering. But news, they say, that could be a, a good hobby, a little side hustle. I got gotcha. you.